You know what they all say? There ain't no laws. When you're sucking ball. Wait, that, that's not right. But yes, anyway, this is a new series on the Dylan Matthew channel called Dylan's Drunk Dishes. And basically, this is what I would make if I was inebriated and I wanted something very rich and pasta-y because I love pasta, that's my favorite thing. We're gonna make a basic mac and cheese that uh, I just know off the top of my head and I'm not necessarily measuring most things out. Just be aware, I am not a chef, but I've learned a lot through cooking videos on YouTube and um, I feel like I can make a competent, creamy, stovetop mac and cheese. Now, let's look at all of our accoutrement here, if that's the correct word. We got our penne pasta, and then we also have the two cheeses we're gonna be using. We're not gonna be like using anything like super crazy. We're gonna just be using freshly grated cheddar cheese because we don't want any of that fucking bullshit that they use uh, in the bags because they have the cellulose powder and that will not work well. It'll make it more clumpy and shit, ironically, even though it's an anti-caking agent. But in a mac and cheese, it's best to grate your own cheese. And we also have grated Parmesan. Because we're going to make a Mornay sauce in this pot right here, we also have our flour. We're gonna do two tablespoons of flour and our two tablespoons of butter. But because we're not just making a roux, we also have the milk as well as the cheeses. And that's basically what we're gonna use as the basics for the Mornay sauce, but of course we have to add some other stuff like a little bit of Dijon mustard, some fresh cracked black pepper, some salt, some paprika, and for a little color and maybe a little flavor, some dill weed. And then to top it all off, if we really want to get a little <sighs> spicy with it, we got our Frank's red hot sauce. Best fucking hot sauce that you can just buy at the store. Let's start, get started on boiling our pasta a while because that'll take a while in this big ass pot. But before we hit that dial, you know I gotta do it to him. Always salt your pasta water no matter what because not only does it infuse into the pasta, making it saltier and meaning you don't have to salt it as much afterwards, but also you'll see later that we're gonna need some of this pasta water to emulsify our sauce because of the starches that, le that get left behind by the pasta mixed with the saltiness of the pasta water gives us a more flavorful and creamy sauce. All right, so now let's just turn this up to as high as it goes. And uh, while we're waiting, it's time to make our Mornay sauce, starting off with a basic roux. Now we're going to add our two tablespoons of butter. We're just gonna turn this on to medium low heat. Make sure it's medium low heat. Temperatures may vary on your oven or stove, so do not take this with too much of a grain of iodized salt. While this is waiting to completely melt, we gotta wait till it's slightly bubbling, and then we'll add our two tablespoons Using a whisk, of course, you gotta whisk two tablespoons of our all-purpose flour here. Now, while we're waiting, I think I'm gonna drink a little more because I don't think I'm thoroughly buzzed enough. God, I'm fucking horny! All right, so look at that right there. We got ourselves two tablespoons of melted butter. It's time, since we already have the one tablespoon of flour, we'll pop that in there and get our second tablespoon. And then we gotta constantly whisk until a nice blonde roux forms. And the smell of the flour fully dissipates and you have a nice nutty scent. But you can't quite get the good stuff at the edge there. There's always a spatula, spatula, ooh, rubber spatula, 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 ooh, rubber spatula, spatula. 
But as soon as that starts to smell nutty and not floury, you don't want the roux to get super dark. That's when you really want to add your milk. And I have the milk up in this bitch right here. And let's smell it one more time. Give it a little, little sniff test. All right, that's perfect. And what you want to do is slowly. <laughs> it, the milk has to be fucking cold right from the fridge. And it has to be slow. Or else you're going to get fucking chunks. All right? That's all I'm saying. Slowly add one cup of your milk to the roux. Oh god. <laughs> Look at that. Oh dear, dear god. You know what would be really crazy is if we timed this like perfectly, where like the water started boiling as soon as we were done with our sauce. I think we just need to let it, if I remember correctly, I'm not 100% sure, but we gotta let it sit for a little bit and just kinda like, not simmer, but like just reduce a little bit on here and just cook off a little bit and then we'll add our cheese to our Mornay sauce. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So our little uh, half, almost full Mornay sauce here looks like it's pretty good to add our cheese. Now we're gonna add our cheddar first because that's the most important cheese right now. I'm sorry, Parm. I, I didn't mean it, but. You can either add it slowly or whatever, but like this is freshly fucking shredded, so like this is the good jaunt, you know? But we're not gonna add the parm until this is incorporated. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, well, let's use the spatula, spatula, ooh, rub, spatula, 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 ooh, rub, spatula, 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 ooh, rub, spatula, 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 ooh, rub. All right, how's that looking right now? Parmesan cheese is gonna be like a f an umami bomb, you know what I mean? You know why they call it umami in the first place? It's actually because whenever you taste anything with a savory flavor or umami, you're gonna say, umami! And the water is actually almost boiling, so I think I timed this very perfectly. Now, of course, we can't just add this stuff to it. We have to add a little bit of Dijon mustard. Not a whole lot, maybe like a teaspoon. We're just gonna fucking eyeball it here because I don't fucking care. Two, three, four. That seems like a good amount. All right, the water is boiling, so. While the sauce is sitting there thickening, we're gonna add our pasta. There's not gonna be a lot of pasta, but it's what we had on hand. So, we got our pasta. Stir it occasionally. What's nice is we can just basically set it and forget it at this point. I'm just gonna put the strainer in the sink a while. We're going to add some spices to taste. So first of all, to taste means that um, you actually have to taste it first to see how much shit you should add. So. Ooh man, that is. That is very flavorless. I think we should need, I think we should add more Parmesan. See, you gotta taste things before you really get into it. All right, it's time to add some salt to taste. Some fresh cracked black pepper. Some paprika for color and a little smokiness and some dill for color, a little flavor. And let's stir that up. Basically, I also forgot to mention, just cook this based on the package directions, maybe on the lower end, like if it says eight to 10 minutes, do it on the eight minute mark, because you want that al dente taste, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't even know what I mean. It means it has to do with, if, if it has a bite, it's an Italian thing if it has a little bit of a chew to it. It's not like fully like limp, you know what I mean? So we're gonna actually add more cheddar cheese. Cheese. We got our block of cheddar right here just to prove that we really do shred our own fucking cheese, okay? Yeah, we have a guest. Um, he should be back in the audience because <laughs> this show is filmed in front of a live studio audience and I don't know why he's on the stage. Can someone get him off? 
Security! God damn it. Security is so lax in this place. Okay, we got some more cheese in there. We'll see if that works out. We can add more as necessary. Now to tell if a sauce is exactly right, you got to see how it looks when you swipe on a spoon or device that it's on. Okay, so let's see here. If, oh my God, look how cleanly that fucking thing went. And also there's a th test you could do if, it, if you do this. All right, it's a little too thin still because it's not like coagulating and then slowly going back. So we just gotta reduce it a little bit more. Now let's give it a little taste. Ooh, that's getting real good. I think a little more cheddar. But first, let's stir. Our pasta, our penne rigate. Il mio compleanno è 23 gennaio 1995. All right, um, so we're gonna add a little more cheddar. I hardly know her, but like, you know. <laughs> Not to be cheesy, but like, All right, I'm not messing with this anymore. This is the perfect flavor. We just gotta let it reduce so it's not as thin. And um, yeah, once the pasta's done and the sauce is done, we'll come back. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Wait, what were we doing again? <laughs> Oh shit, we're doing a video. We have our sauce, our noodles. Before we drain our pasta though, we gotta get some of the pasta water. It could be anywhere between a quarter cup and one cup. As long as you have at least a quarter cup of your pasta water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna return the pasta. It's a little hot, so it's gonna sizzle a little bit. Oh, I'm cheesing. Oh my God, look at that. How creamy that is. We might not even need any pasta water, but we're still gonna add it anyway. Oh look, okay, now this passes the test. Watch this. Look how slowly it just, oh. We cooked it just perfectly. Oh my God, look at that. It's like only slow, oh my God. The chussy, the mac and chussy. All right. <laughs> We're just gonna add like a tiny bit because it doesn't seem like, oh, God. this thing is not the best to pour, but I feel like that's a good amount. Because the starch will help emulsify the liquid even more to give it the smoothest possible texture that we can have. We need to reduce it just a little bit because we added some more water to it so it's not as thick anymore. But once we reduce it, it should be Gucci. Let's taste it just to see if we need to add any more like spice. God damn, that's perfect. Maybe a little more umami. So I think we're gonna add a touch more parm. Try it one more time. The battery is still a little good. the bitch. That's the bitch. Oh, that's what good pussy sounds like. All right, we're fucking done, bro. Now it's time for the plating. Or bowling. I'm gonna get a really good score. Here we go. Did you think I was gonna do that? Psych!
Let's taste it. Oh, I actually did that shit. <laughs> All right, let's taste this bullshit. Like, oh my God, I just can't wait. Not necessarily a cheese pool, but. Oh my god, why is, why is this guy in here? Oh my god, there he is! But holy fucking guacamole, this is a flavor bomb if I ever tasted one. And my cameraman, he's gonna taste it too, he's gonna he's gonna eat it later on, but I do recommend putting the hot sauce in there. If, if you do like hot sauce, like... <laughs> you smell how fucking good my mac and cheese is? Do you smell how good it is and you're just like, I want some, I want some, I want some? Did you know that you're on YouTube right now? Oh, he's walking away. That's it for my time, guys. Remember to like the video, subscribe if you're new here, and make sure to comment down below yeah, like if, if you want me to do another one of these or what recipes you want me to try to make without even looking at a recipe because that might be a fun thing. So yeah, Dylan's Drunk Dishes. See y'all later, bitches. Mm -hmm.